Globally, there are now over 175,000 COVID-19 cases in over 160 countries. There continues to be a concerning increase in cases reported in Canada in the last few days. As of right now, we have 407 cases of COVID-19 in Canada. All 10 provinces have now reported cases. We also have eight confirmed cases among the pa passengers repatriated from the Grand Princess who are all quarantined at CFB Trenton. Canada has tested nearly 34,000 individuals to date. Internationally, Europe is the epicenter of the outbreak. We ask that all travelers coming to Canada self-isolate for 14 days after arrival. These efforts will contribute to slowing the introduction and spread of COVID-19 in Canada. At the same time, the continual global movement of goods and people and the ongoing delivery of essential services will be important for Canada's response to COVID-19. Consequently, an exemption to the request for self-isolation for 14 days should be provided to workers who are essential to the movement of these goods and people. All Canadians must act now to take all precautions and practice social distancing in order to interrupt chains of transmission, to delay and suppress the epidemic curve of COVID-19. Most of Canada's cases continue to be travel-related, so public health authorities across Canada are continuing with strong efforts to detect cases, trace and manage contacts. COVID-19 is a serious public health threat. This disease and this outbreak will disrupt our lives. For many of us, that may mean we are ill or our family members are ill, or that work, social functions, childcare and other aspects of our lives are disrupted. But for some, the disease will be much worse, severe and life-threatening. We all need to take every precaution to protect older adults and medically vulnerable people who are at greatest risk of severe COVID-19 disease. Those of us within Canada are urged to postpone or cancel travel outside of Canada unless it's essential. To increase your personal physical space from others, public gatherings of 50 people or more uh, is to be avoided. Where flexible work arrangements are possible, consider contingencies like working from home if this becomes necessary. And most importantly, if you do develop symptoms, no matter how mild, stay home and follow the instructions of your local health authorities. Doing this will keep protecting others around you and very likely save a life by limiting the spread of this disease. Again, this is our chance right here, right now, and we need to act now and act together. Thank you.